Until now, only men could make them. But now researchers in Great Britain say they can make sperm in a lab. Anne Notarangelo tells us what this means for making babies. Infertility talk seems to focus on women. It's the biological clock and all. Sometimes forgotten in the equation is what else is needed. This guy, a sperm. And British researchers claim they can now make them. Okay, what do you have? The researchers say they made sperm from stem cells, but fertility specialists say it's too early to decorate the baby's room. No, you shouldn't get your hopes up. It's still too far removed from application. We talked to Carrie Sayo as she waited to see her doctor at the Reproductive Science Center. Sayo and her husband have spent four and a half years trying to have a baby. What do you think about the idea of using stem cell to make sperm? It sounds a little hokey to me. I, I just feel that the stem cell research could be better used in other ways, and it's so much easier to use a donor. Dr. Paul Turek shares the skepticism about this particular research. It's too premature to draw any conclusions. Validation is absolutely critical. But this study is hardly the only research out there. In fact, here at the Turek Clinic in San Francisco, they're working on another way to make sperm. I'm going to do it too, yes. I think it can be done. I think this is evolutionary research, not revolutionary research. He says it could be about five years away, but does this mean we no longer need men? So we haven't cut men from the equation? I hope not. They are useful. <laughs> okay. And the science may go beyond babies. Dr. Turk says because sperm are so complicated, if you can grow them, you should be able to grow any organ in the body. In San Francisco, Anna Durangelo, CBS 5.